Hello, I'm Dr. Prakashan Shahi. We have a patient of 42 years male. He's a patient of uh, PSVT, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. And earlier he uh, treated with a electrophysiological study and radio frequency ablation. Now again he developed the recurrence of the similar symptoms. Now he is presented with PSVT. You can see on the monitor the heart rate is around 176. We have tried with all the medications which uh, can terminate this PSVT like uh, Deltia Gem, Quadrone and Adenosine. But still he is uh, having the heart rate of 176 and he is severely symptomatic in form of hypotension and uh, breathlessness. He is on presently on NORAD. So we are planning to give him a, a cardio version with a DC shock of around 200 joules. So here you can see this is a, a cardio Philips. This is a defibrillator from the Philips. So these are the basically two pedals. One is to place just beside the sternum and another is just to place uh, beside the apex. So there is a yellow button with which we can synchronize it to the QRS complexes of the ECG and here are the two orange uh, buttons with which we can deliver the shock. So first here you can see can, you can come close you can come close right this is a sternum this is a apex right so here you can see there are uh, <coughs> different uh, joules of energy with which we can deliver the shock. So here you can see the monitor is on off and if we will switch this from 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, we are planning to give him the maximum joule so that we should not have to give another shock because he is a heavy bed patient so he needs a higher uh, threshold of energy. So we are placing it at 200. This is a biphagic defibrillator. So biphagic is better than <coughs> uniphagic. Uniphagic we can give up to 350 joule of energy. In biphagic this is the maximum 200 joule and this is more efficient way of giving energy to the heart. Mm. So we will place this lead. Lead select there are multiple options. You see for you this is for you also. So we will place this lead to lead 3 and thus comes the paddles. So once it's on the paddle, it will deliver its ECG in form of how the rhythm is getting converted with BPCs, with pause and whatever. <coughs> so we'll place some jelly over it. Please give me the jelly. The jelly should be thick. So the jelly will help to better delivery of the shock, right? So we'll mix it up. I have given a uh, patient some sedation in form of medazolam. 0.5 mg just so that he should not have his memory of this shock. Right? Yes, sir. So you have to place the apex around this place jelly, jelly. and sternum this place. Okay? And I have synchronized this. You have to monitor. I have synchronized this. And synchronize Kiri. And I'm going to give the delivery. Would I be the final? Oh! 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 And continuously you have to show the monitor along with this. So this is how the rhythm gets reverted. And you can see now the heart rate is it's normal sinus rhythm, the heart rate is 105. So it's completely reverted, right? So, so you can see this is how safe and beautiful treatment is it. For the whole night, the patient was in trouble. We were trying with the quadrone and lot of many drugs, but this was unsuccessful and this much of only 30 seconds of working can uh, do wonder for the patient. Thank you so much. <laughs>